Hey there, how are you? So we've got the first stage of the camouflage pattern going on with the T54. You can see here with the turret and with the body there. So, and I've also got the machine gun started to be sprayed with. That's the Mr. Color Forbio. It's a really nice Forbio, isn't it? It's a really light one. But this one here is just two browns. So I've used uh, this brown here by SMS, which is RLM81, so brown violet. Use that as the prime. And then I came over it with this lighter one, dark brown 6K, which is a World War II Russian brown. And that's sort of given that that lighter color, but it's also very shadowed because I only did this uh, 6K from that direction. Um, and you can see it's a lot darker at the back there that so you've I've only really done it from one direction and there's certain places where I did it heavier and um, so yes yeah, there'll be variance in the in the actual color there which is good then the next stage is we're going to leave this for 24 hours so we need to make sure that that's um, not going to peel up on us because we're going to use blue tack to make the actual shapes so we've got to get the instructions so here we go, we've got some instructions here. So, as you can see, this is the pattern we're gonna be doing. So what we'll do is, with the blue tag, we'll get these patterns made up onto the tank with the blue tag. So we need to make sure that it's dry. So 24 hours, it's gonna to have to dry for. So we'll do that tomorrow, start building up the shapes. And then once the blue tag's down for the brown shapes, then we'll spray the entire thing with Yellow Earth 7K. So this sandy colour. And that'll go down next. And what we'll, and it'll be really easy. So I thought to do the brown first, because I will do the brown. And you can see the yellow sticks to the brown a lot. So once we've done the brown, then we can come and we can spray on the, um, the sand colour and we can just put the shapes pretty much next to the brown and the brown could be our first initial sort of guide. There's, yeah, it's all connected. And then once the sand hole is down, we'll put the uh, green on, we'll spray the green. So that's how I'm going to be doing the camo. It's the reverse camo pattern method, <laughs> what I call. This one here, this one is from 1956. Uh, they used this one in the to bring down the Budapest Revolution in Hungary. So this was one of the tanks from the Second Guards Mechanized Division, number 815. And it went into Budapest and um, suppressed those Hungarians from their little revolution. That's the history of that one. But this one, yeah, this one will just be, a, you know, one of the initial batch. I think there was 1,450 of these ones built, the initial one. Uh, the, this turret is good, I like it. And it's really flat. It's a lot flatter than this one, you know, has a lower profile, but there's just too many shock traps in it. We got rid of the shock traps here, so they're all down, but you can really see that this is where the shape of the T-54 turret started. You know, it's sort of a hexagon. Um, so it's, yeah, it's sort of like a hexagon sort of thing. You can see from you know, there's all those different shapes, and that sort of circled up a little bit. But it started off as a hexagon, I suppose. You know, because um, this is the turret that was before it. That they had before it. So this was the T44, T34 upgrade turret. And yeah, you can sort of see that they had that hexagon sort of idea, but they've flattened that out and sort of extended the size to get the 100 millimeter cannon in. You can see? It's really interesting how they, you can start to see how the thinking and engineering progressed. Yeah, and they flattened it out sort of thing and then over time as they're getting rid of these shot traps down the bottom it's taken more of its rounder shape the classic sort of i don't know teardrop t54 t55 look 
All right, my friends, I'll keep going and um, I'll speak to you again very soon.